Hi guys, thanks for joining us. Today I'm going to take you through a Pro iCam setup tutorial, but first of all, what I want to do is take you out the back to our store and show you our stock holdings for 2019. Hope you all had a happy new year and show you some products that are compatible with the Pro iCam app. And then we're going to go through the tutorial and I'm going to show you step by step how to best utilize the app and how to get the most out of it. So if you've bought any of our hidden AC camera adapters, if you've bought a black box hidden camera, a DIY hidden camera, any of our clocks, all the way from our $198 clock through to our $385 induction charging clock, our lamps, or even the wall clocks, this Pro iCam app is going to be perfect for getting that unit up and running and give you the ability to remote view it and check on it any time whatsoever. Let's go ahead now and we'll go to the iPhone and I'll show you how it all works. Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial. So today we're going to go through and we're going to show you guys how to get the um, any of the spy cameras set up. So whether that be an AC adapter, a uh, clock, a Bluetooth speaker, a, a DIY camera, um, a black box recorder, any of the devices that we sell at the moment that are Wi-Fi enabled. Um, I'm going to go through and we're going to do a step-by-step -step guide to get them all set up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead to the App Store and you want to download an app called Pro iCam, which I have already got installed, but we'll go on there and we'll have a look and we'll show you what it looks like. So you want to go for Pro iCam, hit search, and it's the very top one there. So it is the one with the shield, you want to open that. Now normally you wouldn't open it, you just install it. So for now, what we're going to do is just close a couple of those down. So imagine now that you've gone and installed it, now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and on the back of your clock or your AC adapter or your DIY camera or whatever there's going to be a UID code which is what we're going to look for. So we're going to go to our Wi-Fi settings so you have Wi-Fi settings and we're going to look for YM8B94 and that is a little clock that we have here in the store once we have connected to this, so we click on it, we connect to it, you see at the top my symbol's gone from Wi-Fi to 4G back to Wi-Fi. Now what we can go ahead and do is we can go to the Pro iCam app. Uh, there it is. Simply click on uh, the plus in the top right hand corner, add new online camera, and search LAN. Now to come up with the device that we've got, so we click on that, we click OK, and we wait for it to log in. Now it says the wrong password in here, so we may have entered um, part of that incorrectly. Um, for Today's sake, we're just going to use one, two, three, four, five, six, and now we can get now we can get it going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on. And I'm going to wave my hand in front of it, so you can see that's our office there. Um, I'm going to go back now from within the unit itself. You can click on the gear, hit device settings, alarm configuration. At the very top there, you've got motion detection sensitivity. Most people want that turned on, and you can have varying degrees of its sensitiveness. So I'd suggest starting with a normal setting and then going from there. I'd also suggest turning off push notifications and on-screen displays depending on how often the area is going to be frequented. If it's not going to be frequented very often then you might want to leave them on. If it is a high traffic area I'd suggest turning them off because um, you're going to get bombarded with constant messages all the time. The next one we want to do is we want to do SD card record config and we want to change the top one from record to record when alarms Make sure your resolution is on 1080 and adjust your file length if you feel like it. Um, so at the moment it's set to 3. 3 is a good number I think. Any longer than that you have, might have to chew through a bit of footage. Um, but you don't, definitely want, don't want to do an hour because you don't want to be sitting there for 55 minutes after someone's left the room and having to fast forward or wait for all that footage to go through. So keep it on a lower number, it's going to work out a lot better for you. Uh, the other thing you want to do is you want to go to time settings and you want to make sure that your current times all synchronized, correct time zone, all that sort of stuff. The only other thing you want to do from here is you want to do the Wi Fi configuration. So, this will allow you to view the unit or view the camera's footage remotely. To do that, you go Wi Fi config, you then select your Wi Fi from the list that's displayed, and then you enter the password for that Wi Fi. You then hit OK, and about five minutes later, you come back, turn your Wi Fi off, go into the Pro iCam app and you should have full access to it. If at any stage you don't, there is a reset button on the back so you can reset it and go through each step one by one. But that's as easy as it is to get it all set up and going online. From there, you can then go back to the main menu and down the bottom of the screen you've got four options. So live video, which is where we're at at the moment. Snapshots, which is any photos that we want to take with it. Recordings, 
and at the top of the recordings page you've got various different options so you've got phone you've got your memory card if there was one saved on device and downloaded then you've also got your alarm so that's each time it's detected motion the two most common ones are going to be live video and recordings and again like I said you want to just click on the memory card click on camera and any recordings that we had if there was a memory card in there would all be time and date stamped for you and they'd all be ready to go thanks guys for joining us on the Pro ICAM app uh, as I said these are this is the app that we use for any of our uh, uh, hidden camera products so whether that be a black box recorder a clock a the wall clocks the lamps the Bluetooth speakers anything at the moment that we do apart from I think two products which is the iPhone dock and the hidden photo frames um, they all use this app so all the AC adapters everything like that, that we do all one simple app and you can have multiples on, on an app if you wanted to so you can have up to I think 15 to 20 devices so you can literally have one in every room if you wanted to and monitor your entire house discreetly without anyone watching thanks again for joining us guys I hope this has been informative for you and I hope you've got a lot of your questions answered if you have any other questions please don't hesitate to contact us via email uh, at the support, su sorry, support at the spy store dot com dot au, or you can give us a call on zero eight six four five four three eight seven one. Thanks again for joining me, guys, and have a great day.